As you guys know where the mighty miner got an absolutely incredible buff in the last Clash Royale Balance Change update. In today's Clash Royale, we're gonna take a closer look at the most broken card right now in the game. And also, as you guys can see, I got once again to number one in the entire world using Lockbait Mighty Miner. In today's Clash Royale, we're trying out something different. We also take a look at the Phoenix, we got, which got a really huge nerf, I would say. But we're gonna use it in this type of Miner Psychic. What's your opinion about the Mighty Miner? Is it healthy to have a card that broken? You guys prefer a broken Mighty Miner over broken Monk and Phoenix? And if you do, why? I would really, really see your comments um, in the comment section below. Your kind of your opinion. Also, if you guys enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe. Also, make sure to use Creator Good Mods in the shop if you think about buying this new battle pass. And I would say it's time to jump to the game and let's also try to hit number one in the world and number two in the world on my mini account now. So, guys, we're actually playing a bit of Trophy Road. So, I'm kind of like you guys. Like, let's play a bit Trophy Road. It's a bit different. Um, kind of having level 14 cards for sure really helpful, but I didn't push it yet on this account. So, I thought it's like maybe smarter. So I didn't mistake at all. I want to play it. And as you guys can see, the speed is absolutely insane. And yeah, just like, what's your opinion about the Mighty Miner? I just feel like it's kind of a pattern, which you can see. First of all, the Arch Queen was broken. Then the the Golden was broken. Then the uh, then the Skelly King at one point. Then they released the Mighty Miner start of 2022. And yeah, then for sure the Monk was also absolutely busted. So I kind of feel like every time Clash Royale once like every time like, i don't know if they do it on purpose on accident but i feel like every single time there is a broken champion in the game feels so sad for me because i like first of all not a big fan of broken cards i'm not a big fan of broken cards if they're like always the same but my biggest oh my biggest problem for sure right now clash royale is that the biggest bro or like most broken cards always are paid to win they are never like there's never like broken card like i would say like archers which are so so broken that you need to play in every single game they're like always like big broken cards which the concept itself is broken like phoenix right the concept itself if we talk about phoenix is broken like does more damage than the mega minion just dies from lightning for just one elixir more has so much damage and also drops an egg same for the all the champions right champions itself i would even argue the mighty miner was like good it's like would be a great card itself without the ability like this speed is absolutely incredible it's doing like more damage on defense than the valk at example it does single target damage but like with the bomb also you have like the splash damage so against skelly king it does pretty well even if you could think okay it's bad right but just the offensive pressure is absolutely insane so this is kind of my main thing i don't really agree with this mighty minor buff i don't know why they did it because I think without the Mighty Miner buff, we would have saw, uh, seen like a lot of Mighty Miner as well. Because the Monk was the biggest Mighty Miner counter. I don't think the Mighty Miner needed the buff. Because right now, the Mighty Miner is everywhere. And it's kind of like the second highest use rate. And also second, high, like, second highest use rate right now in Clash Royale after the lock. Everybody's playing this card. And it's kind of like we got a Phoenix and Monk meta shift over to just like Mighty Miner in every single deck. I don't really get why Supercell is doing that. Like I'm just a bit sad about that. I was like the guy who was like always saying like hey, we don't need a mighty mighty buff. We don't need a mighty minor buff. I think like the yeah for sure people are thinking maybe needs a buff because of the monk matter, but I just think even if like even a buff like th this is like the most like the worst buff. What why are you doing that? Like the the real big disadvantage of the Mighty Miner was that it's so bad against like spammy troops. But right now it's not that bad anymore because it gets so fast to tower. You cannot let a Mighty Miner go, right? Like you weren't able to let it go before that. But I'm kind of talking about the situation when the Mighty Miner is really low on HP, right? When the Mighty Miner was really low on HP, you could have just let it go because it was so so slow. But right now, if the Mighty Miner is still a ton of it or like it's still a bit of HP, you always need to defend it because it locks. Um, it goes down to your tower, it locks on and deals so so much damage. So. This is kind of what I'm like really like concerned about right now because Mighty Miner is in every single deck. You see Mortar Miner Control, you see um, Morty, uh, Morty, Mortar, Mighty Miner um, <laughs> Control decks, you see Miner Control decks itself, you see even the Hawk Rider decks, you see the Mighty Miner Lock Bait is everywhere. So these are kind of decks like every single pro player is playing. So it just kind of proves my point how good Mighty Miner really, really is. And I know they just broke the card. Like, I mean, I think the Mighty Miner is not as annoying as the Monk because the Monk itself, like, just always getting the tower. It's just really, really annoying, but I still think it's not like really a great, great, great card you need to have in the meta. Like just champions are champion all the champions. I don't really feel like they are really great for the game. But maybe have like you guys have a different opinion. Also, you guys have the Mighty Miner maxed. You guys have the Mighty Miner maxed. The Mighty Miner is not out as long as the other champions. The other champions were released over one year ago. I found like September um, last year. The Mighty Miner got like added like half year later on. But like, I would really like love to see you guys like do you have the Mighty Miner Max? Do you not have the Mighty Miner Max? Um, because for sure if you guys don't have it maxed yet, um, it puts you in a really big disadvantage because the card is so so good. Um, 
compared to all the other mini tanks, right? The best mini tank before that, the Monk got like up to five elixirs, so it's way, way worse. So for sure the, um, for sure it's like absolutely incredible right now. I guess I'm just gonna go for the Miner here. I think we're also using a Poison spell. Just to really solve Poison, we also hit that and like, the, the Mighty Miner just took uh, twice to go directly to tower, didn't work out. And Phoenix, I'm honest to you guys, Phoenix is worse than I expected. Like, they just made a kill to Lightning, but it also means that it dies like quicker to some troops. Add example. But yeah, I just wanna, I just think like, I just think that um, Phoenix, it's not like a bad card right now. You can still play this card, but I just think, generally speaking, it's not too broken anymore. It's still bad in Mega Man every single deck, I feel like. Um, but it's a card which you can kind of counter also like with some spear gums and some decks right now, bats and so on, princes, um, and it's like way easier to, 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 to kill. So this is like just my opinion on the Phoenix and yeah, okay, look at this. Look at the Mighty Miner here, putting in work. Uh, I think we're just gonna use the ability now because yeah, we do get the damage on tower. Also, we're pushing back the Knight, so the Phoenix locks on. GG's well played, another win. I we low. Zero. So I'm just gonna go for my bats in the back and he just drops a Valk, okay? Okay, I think I'm just gonna go now for the build here because I know like I really first of all my mighty miner stays alive And this is what I'm saying like this is like exactly HP I'm what I was talking about because before the update I could just let it go But right now they still need to defend and since they still need to overcommit and play a free elixir skami They don't have anything on defense here and we do get a ton of damage on tower So just like in this one pure sequence you were like seeing the imagination of the great buff supercell did there I don't know if like this <laughs> it didn't make sense what I was saying here, but <laughs> I think it didn't make sense at all, but I think you guys kind of know what I'm saying, right? Um, it's just absolutely crazy um, how really fast it is, and especially when an opponent is low on the elixir. I had some games where, like, even the opponent had great answers, he was so low on the elixir, he didn't have enough elixir kit. Like, and it was the Mighty Mine Locks on, you don't have an E-Wiz or like an E-Spit 2 reset. It's absolutely incredible. Mighty Mine Locks on, you're low on elixir, and it does so, so much damage in such a low time. And just like the time when the Mighty Miner from the bridge gets on tower, it's absolutely. It's absolutely amazing. So I'm just gonna go for the mining here. Maybe we do get a log. I'm still gonna log anyway, so... Yeah, we do hit also some of the Skelly army. Not all, but it's okay, right? So thank you for sparing us and helping us. I guess I'm just gonna go Batsy in case he plays something. Because I need to play something anyway, so just gonna play Bats. He didn't play anything, but it's okay. It's alright. And... Yeah, I don't know. Like, they really broke this card. Like, the card was already... As I said, like, we kind of have the meta before the Phoenix and Monk changes. We had, like, really, like, a Royal Giant heavy meta, which we already have right now. We got some Jewel decks, which we have right now. We got some Lockbait decks, which we have also right now. So this is kind of like the... We're going back in time, as I feel like. So I'm just going to use my ability. Really great prediction on his end here. But, yeah, look at this. We still get some decent amount of damage, which is okay. I'm just going to go for the bats here. Hi, I have my bomb tower waiting in case he decides to go in for Hawk Rider, but look at the bats value, like, this minor control deck, just sub out the, just sub out the monk in your deck and put a mighty miner and you have like the same ability, like, just, it's, uh, it's, I know, I just, I don't really like that that champions are that broken because I feel bad for you guys because, I mean, even if it's like easier right now to max out champ, it's still not like easy to do, so you still need to play a lot or you need to pay a lot, um, and like, yeah, compared to other cards, so I would like to be like the. Uh, I would. I honestly, if if I would be doing the balance change, then I wouldn't try to make money. Um, it's for sure. Like, supers also they need to make money. Like this is their job, right? So, I guess my would. I would love to see like my change would be like nerfing all the champions. All the champions, in my opinion, need a nerf. Just make them a bit slower, a, a, a bit worse, because I feel like. Even, like, the, the ability alone, the ability alone, I feel like the card itself, like the Mighty Man is broken already. And then adding a one elixir ability, which is absolutely incredible, targeting air and ground, like dropping a big bomb, pushback troops, is in my mind absolutely crazy. And for sure also the advantage at 1-1, one, one, or like at 1-0, going on the left side, and just dropping your ability and get the Mighty Man direct on tower is absolutely overpowered as hell. <laughs> We're going to the next game here against mine, uh, against Mortar. So Mortar, like... Mortar is still so strong, man. I remember like nerfing the car like I was like I wasn't like the last balance change before that like four months ago. I feel like it was, man. Like we do get like just balance changes every single like every two months. I would prefer them to get like every single month, man. Like it would be absolutely helpful to kind of 
change things and also i would love to see more emergency nerfs because i can tell you already which is like my i'm like I'm, i don't know if i would like have like odds on like them emergency nerfing mighty miner because the statistics they would be worth it to nerf the mighty miner in my opinion it's like how would i say it? Mm, i would say it's like 90 10 i would say even like 90 95 um 95 um Look at the damage, guys. Look at the damage, guys. 95-5 that they will, won't nerf it. I don't really see any way of them nerfing this card. Um, because I just I just feel like they won't do it. That is like just my opinion. Uh, maybe you guys have a different opinion. Maybe you guys have like faith in Supercell. But I don't really think they're going to nerf. Because, yeah, the, the win rates and usage are really, really high. Um, but it's like not as high as the Phoenix and Monk ones. Um, and I feel like like when we remember the Phoenix and Monk time, they still didn't really nerf it accurate. Like they didn't really nerf it like directly in a great way, like um, early enough. They also took like a ton of times there. So this is like my guess, but it's also like I'm just Mod Royale, right? I'm not Supercell. Um, there are also like some other reasons behind why they're not changing sometimes stuff. So it's always like easy to hate from outside so this is kind of for sure i'm also like sometimes like saying my or, like talking about my mind talking about my stuff which i'm like really 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 um sometimes i'm frustrated about things i think you're also frustrated about some things but sometimes you're like sometimes your feedback is not really like that uh, a lot of it's not a lot of criticism sometimes it's, like just pure hate um but i feel like at least i try in most of my stuff what i'm saying to to at least give them like variable feedback and yeah as i said i'm not in their positioning i can't really say like everything which is like maybe like i'm thinking about like everything is easier than it is really is in real life um because i'm sitting here i'm recording i'm and they're like um taking care of one million or one i don't know how much like how much uh, money supercell is worth it but um I guess I think you get my point, right? So it's way easier to talk from outside. So this looks like another really dominant win. Like there's nothing you can do. It. And all of these games we played, and all of these games we played, what was like the main reason we won? It was always the Mighty Miner. Mighty Miner itself, it's a win condition. It's like Monk. Monk, you played at the tower. Mighty Miner is just absolutely insane and hard to defend. They're popular. They're, they're, they're like over committing. Even if they're able to defend the Mighty Miner, they're spending so much licks at Miner Bats, Miner Goblins get their towers. And this is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. This Mighty Miner deck is worth the decks you can use. You can also use yesterday's one. Just put Mighty Miner deck and it will work. And also, I would really. Um, be interested to see your opinion in the comment section. Also, stay tuned for the next couple of days because there might be interesting changes. So, stay tuned for that.